ready for this? I am so ready for this. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, the Bosho lovers. Today, I have a special treat for you. Bill Hackett and I made our way to the sunny state of Florida to take you right into the heart of the Discover Boating Miami International Boat Show 2024. Now, this is one of those shows where the industry gathers to showcase the very best in boats, yachts, design, and cutting edge technology. Welcome to Discover Boating Miami International Boat Show. It's the world debut for the Formula 457 Center Console Sport, hole number one. Before the show starts, we need to step aboard this bad boy and see what she's all about. First and foremost, it's 45 feet, seven inches long, or 49 feet with the engines. It's got 13 feet, nine inches of beam. Can you see it? It's absolutely luxury back here. The luxury in space, the luxury in the paint, the luxury in the finishes. Oh my God, this is one beautiful poppin' boat. Tricked out with the triple Mercury 600 V12 engines. It's gonna go 62 miles an hour. She's gonna fly on the water. It's a twin step hull. That hull is designed by the ownership group. This is an all American boat. Everything on it just drips with style. On the starboard side, there's one very special feature on this boat. It's the power out swim seat. So you just press a button and you can sit in the water and hold a nice glass of water or whatever else you're drinking. Also in the back end, we have a beautiful Kenyan grill. And tucked in right here, we have our sea bob, which has that matching paint. Man, you gotta have fun when you're out on the water for the day. The leaning post area, so many innovations right here. So you see this little drawer right here by the sink? Fold down sink. You pull this drawer out and I have my controls for the shade. And we also have these coolers which electronically slide out. And then both on the port and starboard side, we have side boarding doors that contain cup holders. They also have a flip out step. So regardless of how high of a boat or a dock you're getting in and out of, you can use that built-in step in the door to step onto the boat. And then they really have a smart boarding pole so everybody can get on the boat super safe. All your creature comforts from home, including a Seakeeper 6. So we have air conditioning here. You can see the vents, but we also have air conditioning coming up from the seats and the bolsters. The bolsters, the upholstery, I love the Formula logo, and built into the split up flip down bolsters and armrests for six forward facing seats under this massive helm. The beautiful lit, the overhead, man, the upholstery in here is eye popping along with the lighting. And so many speakers on this boat. 18, you can get great surround sound in here. Absolutely eye popping with the chrome accents on these JL audio speakers, beautiful. Back here you also have inductive phone chargers and grab handles for a safe ride. If you're a captain, you're gonna love this helm. First, I have my triple ray marine screens, which I can set up any way I want including an aft facing camera. Why is that so important to you? Because I have my Mercury Skyhook and when I'm ready to dial it into the dock, I can really pay close attention on right here at the helm and in the aft end, super smart choice. So when you're ready to relax and get out of the elements, step down below into this beautiful cabin area. So I'm six foot one, there's tons of space here. I can spend the night, fill this cushion in here. I have a nice TV, we have a refrigeration, a sink, a microwave and we have a full separate shower. Man, this is a beautiful cabin to spend the night on the hook. The luxury and style continues up here to the bow and the finishes are absolutely on point. First of all, look at this armrest. Again, two more of those USB charging points. I got a place to put my phone. I have cup holders and I can armrest. I also let natural light down into the cabin, but right in front of my seat is a flip up seat. And then just in front of that is a fully actuated table. And then we have two forward facing lounge seats. Very comfortable. Again, all the accents, all the comforts of home. This is one spectacular bow. So here we are at MTI, Marine Technology Incorporated. Check out the bad boy behind me. This is a 156 mile an hour boat. Giddy up. Man, it goes fast 
but this is one smoking hot looking boat. The display here inside the Miami Beach Convention Center is absolutely eye popping. We're stepping aboard the brand new Sportsman 231 2024. This is a brand new boat. Yes, there is a 231 from the past. This is a totally new boat from the ground up. Step aboard with me and let's see what she's all about. Totally new hull design. It's a little bit longer. It's 23 feet, four inches long, and it's got eight feet, six inches of beam. So this one is tricked out with a brand new Yamaha 300 V6. It's gonna push this boat 51 miles an hour. So on both the port and starboard side, this seat, which is rear and forward facing, is removable. So you have access on both sides to step into the boat on the transom. And then below the seat is a glass top and glass front live well, so you can keep your fresh baits going. We have rod storage underneath, then we have a nice pull-out cooler. Three sides of glass, it's vented, and the deduping piping, guess what? It makes it very narrow, makes visibility fantastic. Bill is definitely in his element. We'll catch up with him in a few minutes. In the meantime, I want to introduce to you Leopard 40 PC by Leopard Catamarans. It's the smallest sister ship of the 53 PC and the 46 PC, but don't let its size fool you because it's equally comfortable and high performing, and I'm going to show you exactly why. Leopard 40 PC boasts sleek and contemporary design. The challenge was to create the same level of comfort and performance as its larger sister ships. The DNA of, uh, of a Leopard Cat is 50% uh, less consumption, 50% more space. And on the Catamaran, you're looking at a, a very stable platform. At the anchor, there's no rolling. At sea, it's a very, uh, you know, very seaworthy boat. Uh, they, they actually don't mind going into, uh, you know, uh, heavy weather or any kind of, uh, any kind of seas. The smaller the catamaran, the more sensitive is the weight, and even the trim could get a little tricky. But this is not the case because this is a well-balanced catamaran. When outdoor, the flybridge is the place to be. Comfortably shaded by a hardtop, and you have the option to equip it with solar panels. Here you have uh, the ability to put uh, up to uh, uh, six times 400 watt of uh, solar panels. So obviously on the, on the power cat, we still have you know, two, uh, two big diesel engines, but we uh, we're working on uh, inverting more um, of the uh, uh, systems, appliances, use solar more, which is basically going to reduce the use of the generator. The bed takes center stage in the owner's suite, and you have a lot of storage space, and you even have nice windows with natural light pouring in. Seventy-two fly. We're up here on the fly, and she is fly. <laughs> it's a beautiful boat. Yes, this is our bread and butter in this kind of market. Seventy yeah. feet. Uh, there's a lot of owner operated now migrating to this yeah. kind of size. Believe it or not. So true technology and layout is a very family oriented, owner friendly, despite having uh, perfect crew quarters in case of a crew boat. So yeah, it's an overall package which is fantastic and. Uh, yeah, for a new model, uh, we are very, very excited. Let's talk about being an owner-operator because I noticed at this helm and the helm below, A, it's very disarming, very comfortable to take the wheel, but more importantly, your guests can enjoy the cruising experience along with the captain or the owner-operator because you have beautiful seating up there. We created an area which involved the piloting, if you wish, yeah. uh, and created a place where four or five people can stay in the same environment, make it a you know a cool a cool time to be spent, love not it. just driving the boat. I love the one level living, but to point out the azimuth finishes, that style is here in spades. It is, it is. Uh, this is all brand new. Uh, the design is by a, a very talented architect. Uh, maybe a difficult name for the Americans, but it's Fabio Fantolino. Uh, will take a while to get it. Yeah, He's yeah. a phenomenal uh, architect designer from Turin in, in Italy, of course. 
and we uh, assigned to him the project of the new 72 flybridge and he did an amazing job because as you can tell this is completely different from anything you've seen before and incorporates uh, design elements everywhere but in a very holistic uh, mellow warm home feelings Federico and my wife sees this beautiful primary suite she's gonna be calling you <laughs> I'm fantastic. I don't blame her. It came out really, um, as I say, welcoming. This is our own ambient, which are full of natural elements, so the walnut again makes you feel like really warm. But then you see we have incorporated a lot of uh, sandy, uh, earthy, uh, holistic materials, uh, uh, which with the pastel look uh, is, is a very, uh, I don't know, turned down. It's, it's, a, it's an ambient where you disconnect. Like that's that's what, what it is. We're thrilled to introduce you to another gem of the show, Hop Yacht 30. Now this catamaran is perfect for you newcomers out there because it'll make you feel right at home and quickly at ease. Nobody was giving us a boat that was suitable for couples, so we decided to prim primarily design this boat for a couple, but it could be for a family with two small children. But we prioritize comfort as a top priority uh, created a boat with a single sail that is extraordinarily easy to sail, but of course very easy to manage because there's only one sail, you can sail it single-handed. And it has a very unique rig, it's almost like an Arab Dao in, in, in its form, a single Genoa swept back with the mast moved aft so that the center of effort comes back and the boat still performs just like a, any other catamaran. This might seem like a single cockpit, but in fact, it's actually the result of the work of a design team with extensive experience, especially when it comes to larger catamarans. In fact, they took inspiration from that knowledge to elevate comfort on this Hop Yacht 30, wraparound cockpit seating fully upholstered that can convert into a daybed for two people. Now, if we step inside, there's a bathroom with a shower, a seating area, and in the forward cabin, you have a walk-around queen-size bed. Not bad. Hop Yacht has electric motors and you know if you have enough real estate on a yacht to put solar panels it makes absolutely no sense to go with diesel because then you're married to a nightmare of maintenance. With electric they, they're literally almost maintenance free. Electric motors, electric induction cooker, electric water heater, there are no fossil fuels on the boat whatsoever. Now this is my favorite part of the cat because right here is where you relax, take in the sun, they have cooler boxes to keep your drinks nice and cool and you can just embrace the laziness. This is the Valhalla Boat Works 46. This is a fishing machine. What you need to do is step on board with me and see all the details. So this beauty is 46 feet, seven inches long, and she has a massive 13 feet, four inches of beam. Quad Mercury 600 Verados, B12s. It's gonna push this boat almost 70 miles an hour. So much going on in the aft end here. First, we have a bait prep station and you can measure all those small fry fish here. Got a nice little cup holder. And of course, this is removable. And then we have twin massive live wells back here that are glass top and glass front. On the port side, we have a sideboarding door or tuna door to get the big catch in. We have this fighting table with rod storage, drink holders, and then we have a second station on this thing. Of course, that's where you're gonna steer, let the captain take control and look for all those fantastic fish. We have rod holders and rocket launchers galore. And I mean galore. So just below the second station, we have a seating capacity of seven individual seats here in two tiers. The front three for the captain and two mates, and then the four seats behind are actually elevated and offset, so everybody has a phenomenal view when we're moving forward. This 46 Valhalla is such a bad boy when it comes to fishing, but honestly, my wife is gonna love this boat because it really is tricked out for a day in the sun or the sandbar as well. Check out this massive European style lounger, two tiered. I get light into the cabin below. I got my cup holders up here. 
Then forward of that, I have two forward-facing loungers with storage underneath, and then I have a table up there that I can relax, eat al fresco. It doesn't get any better than this. We had a chat with the Director of Sales and Business Development at Informa, Dean Felicchio. We talked about what makes this show so loved, and he even gave us some insight on market trends and next year's edition. South Florida is really seeing the, the biggest boom in recreational boating. You have beautiful water down here, beautiful weather, but then you also have access to the Florida Keys, the Bahamas, and all the other islands that are right here around us. The open style day boat and also center consoles are the most trending things at the moment because both are the most versatile. You can take them to the sandbar, you can take them to the islands, and you can take them to just to the local restaurants as well. You have a lot of generational wealth that's being passed down that promotes new boat buyers, um, the popularity of social media and and you know those type of people that are newfound money making it on social media are bringing different buyers to the boat shows. It, it's, it's just been a unique time for the boating industry. Now that the 50 foot and under part of the show is in the convention center, it's a possibility that this part of the, the in-water part of the boat show could go back to South Beach to where the entire show is on one side of Miami. We have a world premiere. We're checking out the 435 GTO. This boat is absolutely sick. So many details. What you need to do is step on board with me and see what she's all about. She has a length overall of 44 feet, 9 inches long, and she's got a 13 feet, 6 inch beam. How outstanding is that? Not to mention 55 miles an hour. She cruises right around 40. Where does that 55 miles an hour come from? It comes from the Mercury Verado V12 600, a triple package back here. But even better than that, on either side, both the port and starboard side, you have access to the boat on these massive transom extensions. 435 GTO is really a special boat. It's uh, an evolution in our GTO product line. So what's really special about this boat is the, the transformability of the whole boat really, but this cockpit area. We have uh, our beach mode, which the, the wings go down. Uh, we've got wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. The wings go down the wings and go there's down. boarding doors built into them. That's correct. And they have glass. And they have glass, which is really cool yes. when they have the underwater lights on at yes. night. I mean. Yes. Look at the fish come through the windows. Sick. Yeah, it's it's really cool. You have your own aquarium uh, when you're when you're hanging out on the anchor, yes. or even at a marina. And then, even more so, that no other boat in the market really has is this whole door setup. So we can close all of this off. We're air conditioned and heated in here. One particular gem that is stealing the spotlight here at the Bow Show is the Two Oceans 555 Power Catamaran, which incorporates safety, comfort, and style. So here's where it gets interesting. Even though this catamaran spans just 55 feet, it actually offers the space and the luxury of a much larger vessel. It accommodates up to eight people and offers not just one, but three interior styles. Iron style, new tradition styles, and the vibrant Miami Beach style. The target buyer for a boat like this isn't really put into one bucket. Um, what's really cool about Powercats is that it fits a variety of people's uh, boating lifestyles. Uh, you have people that really want to do true blue water cruising, shooting down in the Bahamas and staying for months at a time. Or you have the guy that just wants to shoot up to the northeast and do a little bit of traveling here and there, or just go up and down the intercoastal and uh, have a really nice condo on the water. So. We really don't have a certain bucket or a perfect buyer for a boat like this, but it does fit into a lot of people's, uh, you know, it checks a lot of boxes for a lot of buyers with, with stuff like that. I got 67 miles an hour behind me. Where does that come from? The twin Yamaha V6 300s. Giddy up and go. 
It's the world debut of the Sea Hunter 30 Floridian. So what makes this boat a Floridian? It's a Floridian because it's a skinny water boat, it's a hybrid, comes standard with jack plates. It also comes standard with twin 38 gallon live wells in the back end. You're gonna fish this thing hard. Check out the power poles in the back. And then as we get back to this aft facing mezzanine seat behind me, I have tackle storage and then I have cooler below. Whew, a lot going on here. Center console fans, let me introduce you to the 43 SCX. The 43 SCX features a next generation hardtop and an all new dash, setting the stage for unforgettable boating experience. Standard amenities include a powered cockpit, boat table, shadow caster lighting system, and state of the art sound system with five amplifiers and 24 speakers. The word excitement comes to mind when you think of performance. This boat's kind of got the design for someone who's going to be using a poker run um, or going sandbar hopping, sunset chasing, and uh, this boat does that. It does it with speed, it does it with luxury, and interior and exterior styling, there's lots of options. This boat is equipped with Quad 500R Mercury Racing Outboard Motors. This boat is topped out at 87 miles per hour. We also offer a Quint package, so you can get five 500Rs on this model, and that's our first center console model with a five engine package option. This boat's really combined handling, it's combined uh, responsiveness, ride control, um, you know, with our positive lift hole design, we have stability, and all of that encompasses safety. It not only rides fast, but it rides safe. Today we're coming to you from Scout Boats and we're lucky enough to be with the captain of Scout Boats, <laughs> Alan Lang. How are you doing, Alan? I'm doing good, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Scout Boats, South Carolina, what's the heritage there? The style is the most important thing to the consumer. Um, to be able to identify that boat and our you know, sort of off-white color, kind of pearl color that we have, uh, that helps do it. The lines, the Carolina Flair, the broken um, shear line, you know. Um, and then we build them second to none, really. I hate to uh, sound conceited. I'm, I'm not the owner of the company, so I guess I can say it, but uh, we're 100% hand laid all the way down to the smallest part of the smallest boat that we build. And then once you get up to our S-Class series, we're epoxy infused. We actually bake those boats, those holes in the mold uh, at around 145 degrees for eight hours. And then once you get to 37 foot, we're epoxy infused carbon fiber, the entire hull. And then once you get to the boat that we're sitting on now, almost this entire boat is carbon fiber epoxy. Bill, I've been looking for you all over. Where have you been? I've been looking for my next boat right here. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, this is the Mystic Power Boat C4000. She is an absolute beast. So how fresh does she go? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me all the secrets. This goes over 100 miles an hour. It's only 6,800 pounds dry. It's got the twin Mercury 450s pushing it. Man, this thing is gonna absolutely fly. And I noticed that the seats are low, which is not a coincidence, yeah. because while it's going out on the water, I'm not gonna mess up my hair. Absolutely, this boat, in addition to flying through the water, barely touches, you know? It's a catamaran, that's what the C stands for, absolute cat. But the back end, man, this thing is absolutely stylish. You've never seen a bad boy like this. She's fast, she's sexy, she's gonna run in the water. You can enter this sucker into a race, into a poker run. You got six seats. Six seats. All your friends on and board. Their friends. Yeah. Hey, don't worry, you can buckle in. We got safety grab handles in here, all your telemetry right here, your Garmin display, and you can take those engines, put the hammer down. So, what are we gonna do now? Go for a spin. No, we still have happy hour. Oh. Later. All right, let's Later. Go. Let's go. Right. go.